Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a very sort of spur of the moment video and style up a slip skirt four different ways. So kind of got four different scenarios in which I would wear a slip skirt and I thought I'd just give you some outfit ideas. Uh, everything that I feature will be link linked down in the description box below. Uh, I will have all my sizing information and if it's an older piece I will link alternatives. Uh, and if you are new here and you like videos like this then please subscribe I'd love to have you back so outfit number one is going to be focused around work outfit this is something that I would say would work more in a business casual environment as opposed to a fully formal environment uh, but obviously depending on the type of materials that you use you can always dress it up more and elevate it so I'll just give you a little peek at the full look before I talk through each of the details. So the skirt that I'm actually going to be styling up for each of these outfits is this sort of uh, oyster colored one from Beckham Bridge. So what I've done is I've worn a really fitted top. Uh, the one that I'm wearing in this particular outfit is just from Free People because I don't have anything else in my wardrobe that would sort of fit the kind of look I was going for. But essentially just a nice fitted top in a really thick fabric that is not sheer and that would I find some of those more elevated knits work really well and I will link some options in the description box for brands that I think do that sort of thing well the blazer that I'm wearing is more of an oversized style and this one is from Aritzia it's the agency blazer and honestly this is the perfect tailored slightly oversized blazer I've got it in the black as well uh, the skirt as I mentioned is from Beckham Bridge um, and what I've done is I've tucked the top in so that I just have a really sort of seamless layer or should I say one column kind of going down the center. Um, Lily Silk actually do a really great knitted top with three quarter length sleeves which is which I think would work really well. Mine's just in black and I wanted to go for more of a neutral outfit which all of these outfits are pretty neutral actually. Uh, the shoes that I'm wearing are so old and unfortunately you can't get these anymore. They are old Celine but just a classic taupe colored leather pump and then the bag I went for something that's very structured but again keeping in line with this very neutral color theme this is from shop the curated and it's got some really lovely texture to it some mock croc leather so yeah there we go back that's outfit number one again Okay, so second outfit, and this is kind of like my going out for brunch with the girls on the weekend. I want to look kind of cute, but I also want to feel really comfortable and kind of cozy. <laughs> so the um, first thing I want to mention is the top. So I'm just wearing a really simple bread and striped top. I mean, you guys know I love my striped pieces. And this one here is from Bowden. Has this very lovely little gold button detail on the shoulder. Uh, then over the top just for a layering piece and also to kind of create a little bit more shape is this and other stories black wool cardigan and this actually I have to say uh, if you guys are still interested in me doing a brand review on and other stories do let me know uh, but this is my best purchase hands down it's 100% wool and incredibly well made and I've hand washed it it's come out of the washing machine fine um it comes in a ecru kind of ivory color as well. But yeah, I love the way that that sort of breaks things up a little bit and also just adds a slightly darker tone because most of these outfits are very neutral that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. The shoes are definitely the glitziest part of the outfit and sort of what I feel elevate it a little bit and make it feel more special. These are from J Ng and I absolutely love that uh starburst design on the toe. In my opinion, they're a great dupe for the Amina Mwadi heels if you've been looking for something. The quality of them is really nice and they're also very comfortable and they fit true to size. There's a sort of a side on if you were wanting to see that. And then the bag that I'm wearing with this is the Pullen number one nano bag. And this is in the chalk color, which is a really light gray. And it's got a texture to the leather. I have done a full review on this bag. Uh, if you were curious about it, I also do a side by side comparison with the original 
number one bag so that's on my blog i'm gonna link that post in the description box if you would like to go and have a read but yeah i really love the way that this all sort of works and flows together and uh it's just a little bit of fun and i kind of think when you're meeting up with your girlfriends even if it's just for brunch you want to wear something that's a little bit fun and makes you feel really good my second outfit is sort of like a date night or going out for dinner or drinks with my girlfriends kind of a look so what i've done is i have paired the slip skirt with a very similar colored silk camisole this one's from grana and unfortunately they don't sell them anymore so i will find an alternative and link that down in the description box but i really love the squared off neckline i just think that that's really flattering and looks really beautiful when you have the jacket which I'm going to talk about in a second, um, off. And it kind of almost makes it look like you're wearing a really lovely little midi dress. Uh, the leather jacket that I've grown over the top is a really nice layering piece. And I love the juxtaposition of wearing something like this, which is a little bit edgier with a really elegant slip style skirt. Uh, this particular jacket is from Balenciaga and I actually bought it pre-loved. I'd wanted to buy it for about um, six years and I managed to find it for a really good price. It was less than a third of the original retail. So I got very, very lucky because it's in excellent condition. Um, but yeah, I just really like the fit of it. Um, I sized up, by the way, I'm wearing a 38 when I'd normally be a 36 because it's quite a snug sort of a design. But yeah, I love the way that looks and because it's more of a cropped uh, style, it does just cut off at the right point, which is really flattering. These shoes that I'm wearing are a little leopard touch. I wanted to kind of add in a bit of print because I do tend to go for such basic outfits that this is a really great way to spice it up and make it look a little bit more interesting. These particular strappy sandals are from Vince Camuto and they are so comfortable. I mean, you can kind of see there that the heel is not incredibly high, but they're very easy to walk around in. I can't recommend them enough. And then to sort of finish everything off, I've just worn my Chanel bag, which I just fine kind of elevates my outfits and is a really easy option and a really nice sort of evening bag as well uh, and that's the medium size so that is kind of my date night attire with the slip skirt and then we have my final outfit which is kind of just like easy weekend at home when you want to look cute but also feel really comfortable so i've gone for a really soft fuzzy oversized sweater which has a bit of detail to it i like the fact that this one has this really subtle ribbing i think it just looks really luxurious and i've just done a very easy french tuck into the skirt so the back's actually loose the bag that i'm wearing is from celine and this is just the trio uh, this is in the smaller size in a light gray and I just really like the way that color worked with the scheme that I've got going on here. Uh, and then the shoes that I'm wearing are my Golden Goose Superstar sneakers which you will have seen me talk about in my Best Basics sneakers video. These are so gosh darn comfortable and really great if you have wide feet. So yeah, this is just a really good one if you're kind of lounging around, maybe doing a little bit of you know, light housework, nothing too strenuous that's going to get you dirty because you are wearing a very sort of neutral colored outfit. So there you have it. That is four different outfits all featuring the same skirt from Beck and Bridge. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you want to see more videos like this from me. It's kind of a really fun way for me to show you some different outfit ideas, uh, different ways you can style up one thing multiple ways, which is definitely my approach when it comes to shopping for my wardrobe and investing in anything new. Anyway, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thank you again for watching and see you soon. Bye.